<clears throat> Let's see. Let's try search the map to find the games. <clears throat> Who should we watch? <laughs> well, who's playing right now? Don't see. Bravo, oh, they've just started. Are we live? It seems like we're live. It seems like we're live. But nobody's here yet. All right, let's try. Let's go to the start of the tournament. What do we got? Bravo, Magna Tank. <clears throat> hmm, nobody's here already. <clears throat> Takes a while, I guess. Or there's no notification or something. Let's just open a random game. I think this is from the tournament. Nobody's joining yet. Usually people see the notification quickly Brink. <clears throat> Alright, let's see. Let's see what Brink can do. Alright, let's post this in the chat. Let's see if anyone joins. Still at zero. Interesting. Is it the timing? Perhaps. First one in. It took a while to get the first one in this time. It's kind of strange. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's just the time of day. Hello, Boaz. Is Boaz bully dozer? I, I gotta remember. Or is Boaz somebody else? Utterly pathetic or. Yes, okay, it is Bully Dozer. Alright, okay. Now we got Brink. Brink, oh, insanity. 
I blew the dirt. So I just clicked on a random game because the replay vault wouldn't show me who was in these games. Alright, let's see. We got Storm Cleaver, 1100. Putting out those Selene's, nice. He should uh, toggle them so that they go invisible once they stop moving. Let's put on some music. Good old FA music. Because we're casting. <clears throat> Only one engineer building a factory, so you can see that's that's not too good for his uh, his resource. He has loads of engineers. Is he, is he building any tanks out of this factory? No. So we could see some uh, engineer genocide soon. Whoa! Fucking people banging doors. Brink, on the other hand, oh look at that. He has all his build power in one place, but he still has like full mass bar somehow oh he's clicking on all the rocks and then he's gonna patrol around the base don't like the patrol but I guess uh, he's doing alright with the the build better than his opponent I think and he has some tanks to defend so let's speed it up a little bit this is from the vault things happen slower in lower rated games <laughs> Storm Cleaver still on the move. He only has. Well, he's got his third factory now. Still just. Oh, now we have two engineers. Okay. Building. <clears throat> Inti and a scout for Brink. AC's on opposite sides. Brink's gonna move across with his AC. Oh, look at the Selenes. They're so good. I was playing Thomas on an open, on a non open palm, so I, uh. Cobalt Valley. And he had three or four Selenes around the map. Just gave him insane intel for the whole game. <clears throat> They're pretty damn good. That's a nice raid from Brink. Storm Cleaver's not getting that expansion. Also, Storm Cleaver has no air whatsoever. And no anti air. Brink. Hi, Morix. Brink has air and he's only scouting now, although he made his, probably his first, or definitely his first or second unit was an air scout, but he's only using it now. He has five Indies, no bomber whatsoever. Pretty common for lower rated guy to. Uh, not be able to use air as well as he's uh, as long as he's moving his land around trying to do raiding and stuff he's not gonna have the attention to use the bombers and uh, still no air here no air at all for storm cleaver high speed what's up working on uh, galactic warp <laughs> So yeah, it looks pretty good for Brink. He's kind of got most of his map control now. But uh, Storm Cleaver's doing alright. He's doing okay. He's trying to raid. And now he's actually going for the gun. It's one advantage of having no air whatsoever. It's a lot less uh, power you need. Yeah, just, just, just Empire things. I don't know what to do with Empire these days. Okay, he uh, building stuff, assisting the gun quite heavily. Huge stall now. Yeah, since Heaven gave me the E Clan leadership on fucking. On Faf, I don't know what to do. Hi Mountain. Aren't I supposed to be playing? Yeah, I was late for the tournament. Aren't you supposed to be playing while I cast, Thomas? Alright, the gun. Here it comes. What's Brink gonna do, though? He was on this side. Oh, Brink is here! 
Oh. Uh oh. You're in trouble, mate. Oh, look, Stormcleaver knows where he is exactly. The awareness. The game sense. Now he needs to move his commander this way, in this diagonal, so he can actually catch the Brinks, Brinks commander. Hey, <laughs> you retired. Oh boy. <clears throat> yeah, of course Galactic War is done. What do you mean? What are you talking about? Alright, now this is a problem. He has no mass whatsoever, and uh, that's uh, oh, it's because he's building energy storage, which takes a shit ton of mass. But he has the gun. He needs to just go for the kill here, even though there's units around. Well, actually, there's a lot of units coming. Ah, <laughs> oh, guys, it's too easy. You make it too easy. Just like people responding to Endrani's troll posts on forums, as though he's real. Oh no! He. he oh, that wasn't even an overcharge. That was just. Artillery, I think. Holy shit. <laughs> Brink. Well. That's a lot of dead mantis. So. What now? We have a lot of engineers in the base. We don't have any eco. The back base. Well, now, now you see the, this is over. So he started looking at outside this little area he's gonna try rebuild but uh, what is that sound god damn it how's the balance going I will have a patch soon I think Keezer's gonna do some patch notes that'd be very nice <laughs> so I hate doing patch notes and nobody else will do them so Keezer picking up the select there Comes the gun from Brink. No T2 still. A lot of T1 factories. Oh, he has T2 maxes as well. So, yeah, looks looks real good from Brink. <clears throat> and now he's raiding the side. And I think it's going to be over. Stormcleaver has almost no units now. Not nice, not nice. So... We'll speed through the end of this because I don't see any snipe attempt or anything. An ACU. Well, they both have gun. Where is his ACU here? Oh, it's all the way down here building. It's kind of a waste. <clears throat> Why do you make pigeons instead of units? Oh, yeah, co op leaderboards. Do they work now? Like, completely? I know they're fixed and then they're still kind of broken. <clears throat> they needed some more. Extra fixing. In the back getting raided. Yeah, looks like Stormcleaver. He was close. He nearly, nearly got Brink there. Brink definitely could have died. <clears throat> but it's not gonna happen now. Now we have T2. Oh my god. Can he. Look at that. Six T2 support factories. That's a lot of rhinos. There go all those P-gens he built. Harsh. And maybe Brink will... Oh, Brink is sending his commander! This is ridiculous. Why would you send your commander? In a completely one game. You send your commander into the only place where he could possibly die. Jesus. Alright, after game chats. Stormcleaver with the excuse. It's my... It's my third game. Guess when the first two are? Probably... A long time ago. So let's see. Next game. Anyone got suggestions for games? Also, anyone in the tournament who wants their game casted uh, we got 
Oh, John, John Nice. John Nice 227 is in the tournament. SP versus Resistance. Hmm. <laughs> Don't know. It's got some John Nice. Or is it Jonas? I don't know. Jonas? John Ice? Oop. Hit the microphone. Sorry. <clears throat> Slow versus Blast. Oh, is that on now? Oh, it is on now. Yeah, let's try... Let's try Slow versus Blast. Then. If it's on... Oh, they're hosting. Let's see if I can get into the game before I start. <clears throat> Thanks for that mountain. Group formed. See, his connection is really bad, so he might not want me to uh, observe. Only nine watching. Hmm. It's like there's no notification. Only nine watching. That's very strange. Okay, we're in. Yeah, well, usually there's like 350. No, it's like 40 or 50. It says it's unlisted. Ah, you see, that's that's a thing. That's uh, why the hell is it unlisted? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> now, now we should uh, get some more people in. <clears throat> you see, bully, I knew there's something gone wrong. Right, blast chilled. This vexed ninety seven is blast chilled. He apparently has a terrible connection today, so that's not good. Let's see what they do for builds, actually. Blast chilled. Max reclaim. The trees are broken, I think. Two pigeons, three Max is another Max. <clears throat> And then he's gonna walk to the hydro. Build with his engineers. Slow. Doesn't build any mexes or pigeons whatsoever. Gotta share the viewers. <laughs> I don't know, Thomas. I haven't. S I didn't see in the lobby whether they chose. I think they might have gone random, but Blast Chilled. Blast Chilled played played a lot of Seraphim before, and Blast was random. Okay. And Zlow chose Sarah. Yeah, Zlow doesn't really go random because he doesn't like Aeon or. He usually doesn't pick Sarah though. Or he didn't in the past, but now he does. A bit. Still doesn't play Aeon though. <clears throat> so, second land from his low after three pigeons. 
Does he need three pigeons? Oh, he's making a lot of pigeons. Hey, Mosey. Blast me, no second air, and he's making a bomber. And he has a raiding thumb as well. I think they spotted each other here. Although Celine has the pretty low radar range. Third air now, the bomber is going to be out very soon. So, oh, this engineer is this engineer running away or is he just reclaiming? I think he's just reclaiming. But he is going to die. So the bomber can take care of these engineers. The Tham takes care of this one. That's a nice raid. Zlow has not got a kill with his Thams. Like he's. Okay, here comes the bomber. First target acquired. Oh, is he gonna ground fire? Does he need to? He that looked like he might have ground fired. That's a nasty bomber. Four engineer kills. This raid over here as well on top of that. And P Gen's going down. He's gonna try and hover bomb them. Turn, turn, turn. Micro. Oh, it's a lot of P Gen's. Oh, he failed. Damn, so close. But uh, could make another bomber. But there's already two anti airs out. So now Zlow's gonna have to build instead of expand because he has no build power in his base anymore. And he's probably going to have to build extra engineers, maybe out of these factories. Looks like he's not doing that yet. So, rough start. Rough start for his low. Nice one from Blast Shield. If he killed those those pigeons, it would be so nasty, though. Here's a battle. Selene and Tham versus Tham. And <laughs> the time is dead. Two kills now. So Slow has more inties. He could try and try and do something with air. Try and make a bomber of his own. We'll see. Doesn't look like he's doing that so far. Also, ACUs are on opposite sides. Blast chill gone here. Not just walking across. Is there a public dock with what's about to come? No, there isn't. It's a nice Selene from Zlot, giving a lot of vision. And he has annoying tanks moving around, and look, he can find the engineer so easily. Yeah, there's gonna be patch notes very soon. Will he get the engineer kill? He will. He has another tank. And there it goes. So that's a nice raid. No, there's only one engineer heading that way. So that's actually kind of bad from Blast Chill. He's going to lose another engineer. The raids. Slow getting revenge. And now Slow fighting air, although it's four inties each. So actually, Slow is losing that badly. Blast allowing his Mexus to die to one tank. And Zlo three kills on this one and one kill on this one. So really nice rating. And he's only chasing it. Oh, and look at two tanks at the back as well. So a lot of rating and Zlo might be getting the better of it. Blast was trying to take the middle. But you don't really want to try to take the middle before you send like multiple engineers to the top side really this is more valuable and easier to hold once you actually get it the middle is liable to just die quite quickly so we have another bomber from blast shield now that he's one air there's all kind of suicide is there is he gonna aim for the pigeons that'd be nice it's definitely worth it i think he is 
Nice. Oh, he missed one. Damn, he aimed at the wrong one. He could have killed this one as well. Still, three pigeons killed. That's, that is worth it for a bomber. No doubt. Oh, the Hydra's denied just to, after he loses pigeons. That's, uh, that's nice. The timing on that. <laughs> and another bomber. But this one, will it get a drop? And where's it going to aim for? I think it's gonna aim here and oh it's dying it's gonna get a drop though there it goes oh three more power generators three more power generators low running to the hydro needs to finish it <laughs> very badly and now a raid on the bottom side look at that this is a nasty raid now blast chill can cut this one out but he doesn't have any radar to see this so they're gonna get past now he's trying to react Building a pigeon, the expansion with your ACU, it's only really good if you're going to leave, obviously. So one tank gets passed. Here's another sneaky Selene. Look at this raid, there's raids everywhere. Slow is just horrible to play with. Yeah, Cybern region would have been uh, very nice in that scenario. Oh, get the kills. This tank doesn't know what to do. <laughs> it's like aiming back and forth between the two engineers and there it goes. So this is close. This is this is a close game. Not T2 Mexes of course, both fighting desperately to get their expansion. And now a drop from Blast, so Blast making really nice use of his of his air. Killing six power generator series is disgusting. That does not happen often. The Inti is a bit late to the party here. The drop lands and look at this Selene. You can see everything. Blast not making use of Selene's at all. You see here, he could use this Selene and this Selene even now to uh, get vision later on in the game. And that would be good use of them. Also, you should split the tanks into a lot of different places like Zlo is doing. Look at this. The tank here, 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 here. That is how it's done. That's how you play palms. Just make it impossible to catch everything. Well, I think Zlo is definitely stabilized now. Although he's losing the back, for sure. So he leaves the tank here. He should see cloak this guy. Cloak him. And he could cloak this guy here. Have vision in this expansion forever. Could leave a Selene here. You know, you gotta make use of these Selenes because they're... Well, they're so powerful, actually. At times. Blast's gonna try and get the top side, the plateau. This is this is really nasty. Killing not only the mexes but a factory. That's not cheap. And the bottom side. Nobody going for that plateau yet. Blast needs to Well, I don't know what he needs to do really. Use his ACU, I guess, because Zlo is using his. Zlo pushing out. Do we have and a T2 switch. It's difficult to make a T2 switch when you don't have your expansion. <laughs> Both players just sort of have to stay on T1 for now, I think. The transport, did he let it die? Yeah, he did. He let it die. Could have saved that, I think. Another one would be really nice to drop the back. I mean, yeah, there's a tank there, but you can drop a couple tanks with the engineers. And he could also drop the bottom side then. Oh, 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 the tanks. Look, he can just go into the base. He can just go into the base and take out so many pigeons. Those wide open. Where are all of his units? Why are there no units coming out of the factories? And he has artillery as well, so he has three Zooies. Just stop running into the power generators and kill them. Start targeting. 
Oh, slow might be finished. You can lose so much power. There goes the hydrocarbon. That's a hydrocarbon is a good target. It has a seventeen hundred HP. So there's less HP per. Um, ouch. Per energy produced. He's not targeting Bijans now though, he's just targeting tanks, which is useless. So, could he kill more power? He only killed, what, 6, 7 Bijans there, 8, and a Hydro. Well, that's a lot, really. And now he has very few tanks around his ACU, and his ACU is low HP, and he's not moving. So he's probably looking at his base, or he's already given up. And it's over. Well played, Blast. Nice play. <laughs> Snipe one up. Every time someone just is completely surrounded by two on land units, somebody has to say, Snipe one on me. <laughs> Should have used Snipe mode for killing pigeons. Mm. Yep. Well. Well played Blast, that was a nice game. I mean, he had a better start. For sure, his bomber, I mean, he killed Engineer here. Seems to have gotten reclaimed. Killed three Engineers here, got a raid very early with the Tham. Killed an Engineer here. And then followed up with another bomber that killed three P-Gens. Then he made another bomber that killed more P-Gens. Denied the Hydro at the same time. Pretty sick. And then at the end, Zlow, I think he had no he had no vision whatsoever in front of his base. And also no units for some reason. Probably stalling somehow. Power or mass. Could have been mass because he doesn't have map control. Oh, he's making T2 mechs. He's probably stalling mass. And then uh, he had no units coming out of the factories and lost even more power. His ACU is at the front with no units. So well played. I think that was the semi-final? Let's see. Oh no, that was the losers final. So actually, it's now Torin and Blastchild in the final. So let's see if they. Yeah, he's already hosted. So let's just jump straight in. It is the new meme, isn't it, Keyser? <laughs> Snipe mode OP. <clears throat> uh, Chief Jaguar is here. Is he streaming as well? Yeah, not sure why he made T2 Max. Hey Jaguar, are you streaming? Depends. No, the tournament started like two and a half hours ago almost. I was late. Very late. So we're in the final now already. Torin asking other people if they're gonna like that's a that's a meme and a half. Is Blast asking me if I'm ready? He's asking Torin. <laughs> Torin needs one minute and he's X'd up. Nice. Hi Desert Warrior. Hello and welcome. Blast chill going Seraphim. Torin looks like he's going EVF.
Uh, they're hoping to eventually develop Skynet Bludger. That's why. Hi, Roy. Thanks for running the tourney. Actually, you're, are you hosting? Are you Alpha Prime? Or is Alpha Prime somebody else? All right, cool. I was wondering if you just got some other random dude to host the tourney for you. <laughs> but the fact that it's you makes a little more sense. So after this, well, there might be two games here. Cheating on. <laughs> mm, no, cheating isn't on because it says the games are rated. Oh no. Oh no, that's the restrictions. Yeah, cheating on. Yeah, well, who's gonna cheat? I'm not gonna cheat. I'll watch out for the cheating, actually. <laughs> Torrent saying he should have picked Sarah. He has UEF. Now I can play for them. But will that raise their level? Doubtful. So, Blast is going to do the same. Was there a sentence tourney today? Nope. There wasn't. I don't remember any sentence tourney. Ever. Any team game sentence tourney, anyway. There was some... Some clan game was going on. It might be going on right now. Between GB and OGW. So maybe they're playing sentence. I don't know. Yeah, look at this. Two engineers. So this is the same build. And third tank, fourth Celine. So what do you do when you have no labs? Just make a make a tank super early. There's a lot of people won't even expect that. It's pretty bad for your expansion, but I mean, if you're killing a tank, killing a nice engineer like this one, and then running to the back, then that's that's pretty good. And you have a Celine, so if they send one tank after you and a scout, you can maybe probably beat that. Micro depending. So, Turin's going second air. Zlow and second land last time, and that screwed him up pretty bad. Blast chilled. I expect him to go for the exact same shit again because it worked so nicely last time. Scout into the main base to see what the second factory is, and he sees that it's an air factory. But then he also goes for an air scout and Inti. All right, nice. And the tanks are gonna meet, so Blast Shield's build is not gonna work as well as it did versus Low. That's probably a certainty. Celine doing nice damage. Will it get taken out? What's dodging? Oh, look at the dodges. Fucking Neo. Excellent. You wasted every single shot on the Celine. <laughs> King of Prince of Loki will be next on the 2nd of February. Nice one, going for the classics first. Bully Dozer's the best map. <laughs> FML says Torn because his Inti just got raped for no reason, didn't do any damage. 
<laughs> oh, he has the Selene. He has to see this. He's missed all the... He's missed all the engineers. That's so sad, actually. He's missed this engineer and this one. But now he's sending Selene to the back. He has a Selene here. You can see. Just hide the Selene. Put it... Do what's loaded. Just make it invisible here. See absolutely everything. Catch engineers. Bombers are super nice here. The tank is chasing the Selene. And the blast tank is looking for the engineer. Go to the mechs. The engineer is never going to come here. Unless it's trying to hide. Yeah, he has an attack order in the Selene, so the Selene is not going to survive. So, will we see another bomber? Yeah, Kieser, you definitely don't want to miss the King of Loki. <laughs> The max, the max. Oh, it's fine. Never mind. That's a good trick, though. Hide if you're under attack from a lab or tank, getting raided like early on. Hide behind mexes, or also build a wall in the way. But that's even that's a bit trickier to do. But hiding right behind mexes is nice. Most people won't react, to be honest. So we have. One, two, three, four land factories. One, two, three, four, and a half. So, slightly ahead, I think, on the factories for blast. Yeah, sometimes building walls doesn't work. Definitely. That's why I say uh, hide behind mechs first and foremost. But I did play a game against Mountain on Williamson's where I... God damn it. Cans. So, uh... Yeah, I played a game against Mountain on Williamson's where I blocked, blocked a striker that was raiding. And just blocked it with the wall and then reclaimed the striker. <laughs> so sometimes it pays off. It's not going to pay off most of the time. You're probably going to misplace the wall, or it's going to shoot over the wall, or they're going to move their tank and kill you anyway. But, you know, it works sometimes. Well, A and have the lowest HP uh, engineers as well, so they die a bit faster. Now, when will we, when will we see T2? That's what I'm interested in. Uh, it's gonna take a while. This is a nice raid. But it makes. Oh, he just got it. Just got that one. The other one, he can't come back for that. Just needs to try to keep running to the back. The ACU is coming. He's gonna get a few shots. Yeah, all of Aeon is a puddle of crap, really. Especially their buildings. Before they're built. Another raid here, and Torin doing the old ACU move, but this is a classic counter to the ACU moving. You just run across here past the ACU to where the ACU should be, and uh, raid the mexes, but th these are UEF mexes, so they're surviving. And Blast kind of messed up that raid. He could have focused mexes and got maybe two mexes down. Or try to run past even. He also missed this engineer. Somebody pinging me. Oh, it's TZ. I'll message him after. A lot of factories planned for Torin. Doesn't look like he's going T2 at all. And he has the score lead. He has definitely got map control advantage. Huge map control advantage. He's just getting the back now. And uh, all he needs to make sure of is that his ACU doesn't get trapped and killed. You can see all oh, the ACU is coming across. But look at the amount of radars here. Oh. Fade away. <laughs> Radar snipe. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I really... I always try and go to the same side as the enemy ACU because I hate this this gameplay where you walk to the other side of the map. I'd rather not do that. So it's better to just go to the same side as the opponent and tell them to fuck off home. And... Uh, yeah, Torn's gonna feel a little scared, but he has a few units, and all of his reinforcements are now going to this side, so we should have some counterattack, maybe? You need to do damage. He even has this hydrocarbon. Should have gone fast, T2 and Beetle. Well, it's hard to do when there's only UEF and Seraph in the, in the game. More T on land. More and more and more. No mexes really, at all, and looks like Torrin's gonna run away. I think he's seen the ACU. You can kind of tell from the speed on the radar, even if he hasn't seen him, he might have seen him. So he hasn't really kept this side for long, but he has definitely got a got a significant advantage out of that. And another air factory, alright. Will we see T2 air instead of T2 land? No, we have bombers coming. But there is anti-air in the mix for... For blast. <laughs> That's an interesting idea. Just have idle civ buildings <laughs> of different techs. <laughs> oh, my phone's ringing. Sorry. Okay, we're back. <clears throat> what happened? Fill me in. <laughs> Alright, we got a counter attack. The PDs are going down. Although there's a lot of PDs here. And the Zooies are getting sniped. I wish, Pablo. I wish. This looks like a huge mass donation in waiting. Gotta run. <laughs> Hydro goes down, that's nice. The aggression, so this has gone down actually. The PD went down. There's still one PD here, but it's not doing much. And Torin has one T2 Max, he has T2 land, no T2 land for Blast Shield, and no T2 Max, so. Still looks nicer for Torin. He has to be careful. Let's has to be careful with his ACU. Trying to drop units through the middle of the map. Where is he going? Just to here. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's a nice move. I like that. Blast is very good when he's not bad. I agree. Blast can play. He's a good all rounder. Can play any map. You know, inconsistency is just what happens. If 
feel like he's going to get rid of all of his T1 units and then have no T2 units and then Torin is going to have T2 units. See if you did this versus a weaker player I would say you probably could win because the player wouldn't react and wouldn't reclaim and wouldn't grab their map back very quickly but doing it against Torin I feel like Torin can handle this. Torn actually has another T2Max here, and he has already three T2 support factories making pillars. T2 is only coming now, we're at 13 minutes, and he's going to run out of T1 units. So let's see how quickly Torn can get his stuff back. Torn also has both plateaus. I missed what happened up here. Wait, maybe that was, was Lowe's game, actually. The air. Yeah, there's quite a lot of inties here. Don't, don't let them die. No. They're low HP already. They're just getting wrecked. No. No. That's a waste. And yeah, Torin, he lost this Hydro, he lost this Hydro. He was building a T2P gen here, and that was killed. Could actually do damage here. He has a Zooey. He can take out the PD and maybe raid but now there's a lot of units on the top and there's a couple of pillars in there as well and the ACU so blast can't really fight this at all could be a counter-attack coming we need some quick support factories assisted by assisted by engineers to build them faster get them upgraded So, seems quite over. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Definitely Blast could still do something, but he's in. He, he needs to really focus on the T2 production. Just stop. Just. Just. Uh, stop. He can try to do more damage, get a drop in the back. I think he needs to do some tricky stuff. And also stop making T1 land and just make a few engineers and then get the support factories up really fast and just immediately start making Ilshis. And maybe the gun would be nice too. It's the final one off game. Uh, n yes, it is best of one actually. Unless, unless actually if. I think if Blast wins, then it'll be. There'll be one more game because Blast came from the loser's final and Torin won the winner's bracket. Torin has 500 pillars. He has a few. He probably has 15, 10, 12, 15 maybe. And he definitely has more production, that's for sure. And now Torin going T2 on his commander. The bombers, the air is not doing anything. Ah, uh, yeah, here come all the units, and Torin, there's, can't really stop this army, Blast can't stop this army. Blast trying to get his T2P gen up, he has, what, two T2 mechs, oh, he has one at the back as well, another one upgrading, this is quite vulnerable. Torin not upgrading mechs, this doesn't really have power, still hasn't rebuilt his hydrocarbon, but he has a, well, he has a T2P gen. Now... Could lose some air again. Well, I thought he could keep going, but he decided against it. Just left some mass on blast side. That's uh, that's a nice mass donation. And look at this, another attack here. This how is this denied for so long? How is this denied for so long? And now blast going for the gun. Nice use of the lobos, the artillery. See this land kind of sticks out here so you can attack the expansion from there. And oh, a lot of T2 mechs is now just finished for Torrent. That's nice. That's going to make him feel a lot nicer about losing his expansion. He still has the six mechs on 
the plateaus. Yeah, we need some tricky stuff. We need the we need a artillery drop in the back of the base here to kill all of this. That would be that would be amazing. And he kind of could do that from this side. And he has 700 million artillery, so dropping some would be good. He only has 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 Ilshis, 8 maybe. Maybe 8 Ilshavo versus like at least 20? Torin now has the gun and T2. He went T2 and then quickly made the gun and uh, Blast is still making his gun upgrade. So Blast is upgrading T3 Max Mountain says. Oh, that's amazing. I I wonder if that's intentional. I'm not joking. It might be intentional. I hope it is, actually. And here we go. Oh. He doesn't have enough overcharge to kill the, the Ilshavo. Oh, Blast is just going to die here. Okay. Ripperoo. Lol. Capital Lol. That's that's a snipe mode right there. Instant death. Holy shit. Oof. Uh. See, now that's a snipe mode OP moment. Wait. What about that face? I wonder what, what HP Blast was on. He was on a little... A little bit less than full HP anyway. <laughs> Blast says, time for Chinese in the chat. <laughs> nice. Well, um, yeah, snipe mode fucked him hard there. The combination of snipe mode with shift G. That's the real disgusting part. Well, uh, Torin is the winner. GG, well played. I think that is it. Yeah, Roy says it's not best of three. So that is that. I mean, even if it was best of three, I would guess... I would guess that Torn would already have a one nil lead because of uh, coming through the winner's bracket, so it doesn't really matter. It depends on how you run the tournament, but uh, that's what I would think. Torn defends his title, does he? Did he win this before? I don't know if he did. I mean, it depends how you do a mountain, but that's what I would. That's what I would think. Yeah, Roy says Blast need to win twice to get king, so there we go. GG. Well played. So let's see. Let's check out the Prince of Open Palms. And John Ice is in the final. Coming from the loser's bracket. Alright, let's go to that real quick. Where is he? Oh, I have to... Yeah, I should probably close this first, yeah. Alright, let's see. Let's see what's going on. This is the final game of the Prince. 
of open palms. Prince is like what of under 1500 or under 1600. Under 1500 ladder or under 1600 global. I don't know why the global is higher than the ladder, but it is. Not that it's a problem or anything, but I'm just not sure the reasoning. So, this guy has no name. What the hell? Where's his name? I guess they don't. Never mind. So, we have John Ice. And Finister. Finister? Finister? Uh, are they playing with quality performance? Yeah, they are. <laughs> okay. Interesting. So, <laughs> in a 1v1. Okay. It's not survival, guys. Complaining about the time. Get your excuses in early, people. Get them in early. So, John Ice, let's see. He has 1400 global. Now, let's see. Let's look him up on the ladder leaderboards. John Ice, 227. He has 1326 on the ladder. So, well under the range and he's in the final of this tournament and he's come from the losers bracket he lost to oh he lost to this same guy he lost to finister in the semi-final of the winners bracket so time for revenge the first king of open pounds was tag pebble what was that like 20 that must be 2013. Third king was Red Viper. Nice. He was a decent player. And the current king is... But was he the... Did Torn win it twice in a row? As... Platt said? I mean, there's surely been a, ki a king of open bam since the Red Viper. Like that guy hasn't played for a long time. Yeah, I played a lot of games against. Uh, he helped me get a lot better at this because at this game because I played him several times when it was like 14, 15, 1600 around then. Helped me improve a lot very quickly because he was like 18, 1900 at the time, and we just played like Rager a lot and stuff like that. So he helped me improve quite a lot just from playing those games. We didn't analyze or anything like that, but just didn't speed win everything at some point. No, speed was never really a 1v1 player. I mean, he was good at 1v1, but uh, he's mostly a team game player. I don't know if he ever won 1v1 tourneys. I don't really remember, though. He was around before me, so. So we have nice saving of this engineer. Good job. 25 HP. And we have two sneaky labs sitting on mixes. some bodyguards as we expand now what's the ACU gonna do ACU hasn't actually oh he look he built all these factories in his expansion without move and his main without moving that's interesting didn't get the rocks in his base so should get an engineer red plate seems even better than slow torn and blast <laughs> well uh, he's up against no air factory and he has an air factory, so let's see how he reacts. He hasn't scouted yet, he just has his air scout in the middle. Scout the base. He's seen the hydrocarbon somehow, but nothing else. 
can someone explain how he's seen the hydrocarbon and absolutely nothing else? I don't, I don't understand. How is that possible? <laughs> well, anyway, getting a nice lab kill here. So after you do that, you should probably move the lab somewhere else. And that's what he's doing. Nice one. Still has another lab here waiting to pounce. Here comes the scout, finally. So he sees Air Factory's only being built now, but will he see it? It's been shown to him. Oh man, nice. Look at that. You can tell this guy watches my videos. Straight to the bomber. Now, I don't know if he queued that bomber before he saw there's no air. Maybe he saw there was no air scout or inties and queued the bomber. Or maybe he just got completely lucky and queued the bomber, but... Uh, Either way, this is nice. So, defending his NGs. Oh, he needs to defend these pretty quickly, actually. Defending his NGs, scouting, raiding, two labs. They got to kill each. Now, the problem is his expansion is maybe maybe too slow, maybe. Or maybe he's just not efficient enough with his eco balance because he had a lot of mass stall and power overflow earlier. So that's not ideal. So maybe it's the eco management that's getting him. The bomber, what's it killing? Just, oh, it's attacking Mantis. That's a problem. Still has three kills, so that's nice. Running away from units. When you see these raids, you should run into them at the start of the game. So you can farm as many kills as you can. So this is nice. Look at that. Six kills already. Very nice, and his bomber did some damage, but overall didn't really hit the right targets. This would be a target here. This over here would be the best target as well. Those would be nice. Now he's getting raided on the right side. Looks like he has less units, I would say. What do we got? Ooh, less than 20 tanks versus, yeah, we're up to like 30 Mantis. So definitely struggling on the unit count. That's a problem. Prince and princesses in the chat. Damn, faff. Why is it king and prince, eh? What if there was a girl that won? Then what? See? Misogynists. The laddie. More factories coming up. And uh, Jonas, John Ice is, um, well, he's got to be scared now because there's an ACU and a lot of units going towards him. And this is a problem. His, uh, yeah, it's really his unit production is a problem in this game so far. He hasn't been able to, for some reason, he hasn't had the unit count. And I'm not sure why. He seemed to have a decent number of factories. Now he definitely has far more than his opponent. So maybe he'll catch up, but... Um, it doesn't look so good right now because, well, of this, this right here. But what is Finister going to do about it? Don't like these random Shift-G moves. Some people use Shift-G for almost every move order. It's so triggering. And it looks like he's doing it as well, kind of. And he's being aggressive. See, you don't want to send your units in front of your ACU. He can't see what's here. He could lose all of his units and then he's just stranded. ACU is uh, just about the slowest unit in the game. Everything can go faster than it, so it's pretty important that it doesn't get left alone on the other side of the map. And the ACU is here as well for John Ice, so he needs to quickly get the expansion back and also get the reclaim. Quality of performance mod, why? I have no idea. I'm the wrong person to ask. And it looks like... Yeah, it's it's not the best reaction from John Ice. I mean, this is good. This is good rating at the back. He has both labs here. He should probably split them up. But... Uh, oh, nice. He actually got an engineer across here. He's expanding. He should uh, quickly... Build mechs and uh, get... A PD, but he's completely ignoring this side. Now he is trying to get a PD, but I don't think that's going to finish. His bombers have just been attacking units. It does unrank the game. I don't know if that's why they made it, why they did it, or used it. 
Could have just been by accident, or maybe that's just how they wanted to unrank the game. John Ice now losing his expansions. And oh, the only thing he's killed from his opponent is the back five mexes. And he's now lost these mexes over here. He's lost six mexes. He's using his AC though, and uh, battling head to head. And he has a lot more units on this side. So if he keeps using his units, he's going to kill these forward factories. That's good. He could also run past. He could also go for the kill, but he's now let his ACU go out of range of the enemy ACU. Hmm. And on this side, well, Finister getting really good trades there. And now, if he's going to run all his units past, he should turn around and with his ACU. If you're going to leave your ACU alone. You can't keep going forward. You should come back here, get the reclaim. Could build a factory very quickly on top of his opponent. So this is back and forth, very even. Yeah, you can restrict the dummy unit to unranked again. That's why I don't know why if why they necessarily use the quality of performance. Maybe they just like the mod. We're somehow afraid of lag in a one v one game on Pams. And actually, T2 from Finister, and also with double adjacency, that's nice. Is it really very even? Yeah, I guess, uh, well, you see, it is. I mean, total mass in their incomes, but uh, there's a lot of units on the top side now for, for John Ice, and he has units in the back. Looks like he defended, he made a lot of PDs to defend this back here, but it is defended. 10 kills on that PD. You see, very even means different things at different level sums. <laughs> so he could suicide all of his units in here, lose them all, and then, uh, you know, we're back to square one. You're the champ, Gratz. Damn. Is Finister thrown in the towel? Can I explain the arrangement? It's, uh, it's an aesthetic arrangement air is lost says blast chilled <laughs> I don't see any air for anyone so yeah I guess it's oh yeah there's air yeah I don't see any air for John Ice he did it John Ice well played Prince of Open Pams let's congratulate him Oh, that's that's mean. That's mean, Thomas. Too soon. Too soon. I think all these mantis might actually be able to kill the the T two HQ. <laughs> well, well played, John Ice. Nice game, back and forth. And uh, we have. A king and a prince of open bombs. Now what? This was clearly not over, says Keezer. I mean, I think he kills the. He could kill the HQ. Or he could kill all this power. He probably wouldn't kill all the power. But he's raiding here. This is all dead. I mean, Finister does have T2, so you could play on. Could definitely play on. And also he has air control. So there's only like one inti, two, three inties for John. He could play on. But he decided to call it there, even though it's the final of a tournament. He could also lose nearly all Mantis to the bomber. He could, for sure. I could see that happening. I was visualizing that, as I said, he could possibly kill this. HQ. Yeah, I mean, a meteor could have hit the earth at that moment, and who would win then? So, what do we do now? 
now that the tournament is over, was there any uh, was there any nice games from the tournament that I should look at? Let's take a look. Uh, what was Torn versus Bully Dozer like? Hmm. What was that one like? Any good? <laughs> Good idea, Alistair. I think it wouldn't really... Well, I think that would not be a very interesting game, though. <laughs> Prince is a lot lower rated than the king. I think Bully Dozer's gone. He's just not answering whether his game versus Torn was good. Does anyone else know? So we watched Zlo versus Blast, Blast versus Torin. I don't. We didn't watch Torn versus Zlo. That could be interesting, maybe. Let's see if that one had any. It wasn't. What wasn't good? The Bully Dozer one, I guess. Yeah, you mean Bully Dozer? Yeah. Uh, Alright, Torn versus Low. This is a short one. Oh, he didn't watch it. So let's try it pretty quick. All right. So, first land, first land, obviously. <clears throat> Cybern versus Seraphim. Yes, this game was ranked. Usually people like Cybern on this map. Just because the Mantis, the raiding, the speed. And then on top of that, all the other stuff Cyber normally has anyway. But especially here, people people love the Mantis. So you would usually have a lot of Cyber spam, but we had a lot of Seraphim. We had we had some UEF, although Torn regretted picking UEF and wanted Serret. I didn't see any Aeon. But this is not a good map for Aeon generally. Because again, the units are so slow that you can't really raid very well. Not having Aeon is weird. Yeah, yeah. I don't really think it's an Aeon map though. It's probably one of their... I mean, it is a T1 map, I guess, but... You can definitely play on here and be fine. Not that they're terrible, but... Yeah, it's harder to get the raids off. Can't really have random Aurora hiding in the back of the base. Yeah, Aeon could definitely do really well. Oh, here there was a, a Selene that was cloaked and then it suddenly wasn't cloaked for no reason and died. Don't know what that, that's about. Aeon is nice here because you, you have to make so much T1 and then... Like you have a large... You always want, with Aeon, you want larger battles basically you don't want like five aurora four three aurora fighting each other or fighting other t1 if you have like 10 aurora 15 aurora then they're just one-shotting units before they even get into range and 
then they're really nice. And you barely even have to micro. Engineer, it's not dying. There's a little missed out on that raid, that's unusual. Torrin just building a PD here, alright. Yeah, you can go T2 air. There's a lot of spots to try and defend versus air on this map, so... For sure. Can do damage. Most people have just been choosing T1 land, a lot of T1 land and... Uh, then some T2 land. We haven't, haven't seen T2 air in any of these games. None of the games have been particularly long, I don't think this one is either. So, in the beginning, there was the word. Now there was Torin with uh, less reclaim, less total mass, but maybe a bit more power income. And uh, yeah, less mass income. Look at this. Missing two major expansions. This low has basically all of his shit. And Torrin's going to take this expansion though with his ACU. He likes the ACU move. Zlo still on his side of the map, not moving across, so he could be behind, but it looks like he's going to get a nice raid here on this engineer, which is already low HP. He could have raided it earlier. There's also no other engineer here. There's one here. There's one heading to the back. One nice thing. When you have units in the back, you can put a radar right here. In the back of the base. Covers quite a lot of stuff. It's a nice radar to make. So the raid works. Gets gets the engineer kill. PD is obviously out of place. Celine sees all. Uh, what's going on there? Anyone know what the hell this is? <laughs> Run, my dude. Nice raids from Zillow here. Getting all the way in across the side. And uh, Torrance here alone, it seems, with his ACU. And Zillow is bringing his ACU. He's shooting over the... Nice. The height of the Seraphim ACU coming in handy. Very nice raids from Zlo. Counter raid here. He saw. He knows the ACU is here. He heard the shots. Saw the shots. So, attack. And there's no PD to defend. So definitely, this whole expansion is in huge trouble. You usually want to get a get a PD before you start leaving with your ACU. Gonna try and react to all of his spam now going to this side, and that's gonna make it impossible to just swarm over this commander. You'd have to give up this side completely to try and go for the kill, and that would be risky as fuck. Look, even though there's a PD here, he's killed every single mech in the expansion by moving around and avoiding the range of the PD, and he's even killing these mechs. <laughs> Pretty nice. And he actually stopped this raid and made it into a mass donation. So, well played from Zlo, he's still getting raided a little bit. Decent damage from the bomber as well. Bomber's being used to try and clean up raids, it's good. And now Zlo coming in for the attack, but every single unit for Torn is heading this way, and actually the AC is already out of the expansion. So, let's see what happens here, this is interesting. Zlo with 3000 mass, reclaimed 750 for Torrent, it's not very much in comparison. He's low wasting some units here, I think he's lacking vision. Doesn't have a radar at the front, needs to make one with this engineer, although he's busy saving his desire for hydrocarbons. And oh no, Zlo just dies here to the ACU and a shit ton of units. Hmm, damn, there's a lot of units out of range here, just over here. And uh, now, oh, there's even gestures. Torn just going for the snipe. And that's GG. Under 
Yeah, Thomas, and sometimes Manchester United concede in the fifth minute. I mean, that's crazy stuff. So, GG Torrent went for the snipe, pulled it off. So, that was the, what was that, semi final? Yeah, that was the semi final. Torn going for the snipe. I think uh, going for snipe is a reasonable, reasonable idea considering his map. Look at this. The back is dead completely. Never going to get it back. Side is dead. He's trying to get it back, but it's getting bombed. And he saw it. It's Los ACU coming across. He knew he was here. Uh, so just went for the, the gestures. Zlo wasn't ready for it. For that switch up. Didn't have any anti air in the mix really. Didn't have all of his units here. He had a lot of units. You can see had to come all the way across. So. Well played Turin. And yeah Turin went on to win. Win the whole thing. Alright what will we do now? Could play some ladder. I'm gonna pour some more coffee first. Actually, Chosen wanted a, uh, wanted to do some best of five game for, uh, for a pay safe card for 25 quid. Coffee machine next to PC, no. That would be pretty nice. But I don't, no. I just had some left in the... In, in the pot. Coffee is gross. Strange, strange comment. Easy money. It's not versus chosen, Keezer. It's like two people. Um. He was just looking for any two players. But he's not online right now, so I guess when he comes online, he'll start messaging people again. So I'll either play that or cast it. I don't know who we'll play against. He tried betting on games. Nobody would do it. Hmm. No, it's not versus chosen. I mean, it was kind of confusing what he said, but it's not. It's not versus chosen. He's just putting up the the prize. I also don't know what the maps would be or how it would work either. I don't know, I need to talk to FTX about just getting some get him to put up some money for one V ones. Like I don't know what the hell is going on. Yeah, 25 quid for best of five. Not bad at all. Also, gotta, I gotta get a teammate for the 2v2 Masters Cup. When's it gonna be? Mid-February sometime or March. Yeah, I gotta find a teammate for that. We have Nexus Blood Ear signed up. That's a pretty strong fucking team. Hybrid and Bully Dozer, Blinchik and Paralon, Dro and Death Squad, Moonbear and Bias, <laughs> and Petrick and Blackheart. Uh, what? Somebody hosting a King of Palms game. Keys are, keys are playing 2v2. 
I don't remember that ever happening. Get feather on band or not. <laughs> the UI ones. Patrick and Blackheart would be brutal. Yeah, that's uh if they don't meme, no, they won't meme in a I mean they wouldn't sign up just to meme. Not a money tournament. No, they're they're going for the win. For sure. Hmm. What's the best player I could get to play with me? I wonder. Who's not signed up? That's the thing. Farms isn't signed up. Ajux probably won't play. I don't know. Torin hasn't signed up. Slow. There's UD. Uh. Econoob, Congreve. There's plenty of good players out there. Probably Torin. Well, Torin, I don't know if I trust Torin as a teammate. <laughs> <laughs> you just watched a replay with me on Williamson's Bridge? I don't know. If that doesn't sound promising. Don't choose Torin, no. <laughs> F you, Jacket Appliance. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I saw Torin play in some games. Uh, you want to see a BO? Oh, you shouldn't watch me on Williamson's Bridge for a build order. Definitely not. My build is terrible there. Should watch somebody else. I'm not good on that map. <clears throat> yeah, Nexus. I've played 2v2s with you, Nexus. And uh, <laughs> they weren't <laughs> very funny. Yes, yeah, so I got destroyed in Williamson's sounds sounds about right. I remember carrying Nexus in some two v twos and other games where he just uh, he's just AFK, you know, not paying attention at all. <laughs> yeah, so pro Ajax it would be the best teammate. But I don't know if he'll play. I could ask him. Don't know if he'd want to play with me. Yeah, there's like Ajax, Torin, Thomas, obviously. But Thomas has apparently retired. <laughs> no, we did not crush as a 2v2 team, Nexus. We did not. We should have, but we didn't. UD would be a good teammate, probably. Yeah, Equanoob, Congreve, mm -hmm. Firearms. There's still time. Well, we could crush right now. I mean, you signed up with Blood Ear, though, didn't you? Yeah, we can play 2v2s now if we have a fourth. We have Bladir, Nexus, me, Torin, maybe. I don't know if Torin wants to play after I said he. I don't trust him as a teammate, though. Yeah, go host some 2v2 then, Nexus or Bladir. Actually, Nexus, Bladir is not a good host. <laughs> Yeah, Thomas would draw an Emerald Crater. Despicable. Is the 2v2 tourney played with full share? Uh, I haven't checked the rules. There's no rules listed, actually. There's just like, maybe it'll be this, maybe it'll be that. So there's no rules up yet. It should be full share though, really. So people should petition more X. What's the prize? It's five hundred dollar tournament. 
Yeah, well, I mean, the rules aren't up because, I mean, there's not even a specific date or anything, so, or all the maps aren't posted yet, so, yeah, it needs a... It needs some clarification. Yeah, it is. Well, that's why Patrick and Blackheart immediately signed up. Five hundred dollar, dollar dollar bills. So, trying to connect to a game here. Hosted by Nexus. Not connecting though. Please connect. Alright, let's try connecting it. <clears throat> yeah, so who should I play with, I wonder? Who should I try and play with? Probably farms would be the best. I'd say. But he might play with Congreve, actually. Alright, we got three people. Plus one for 2e2. Need another epic player. Uh, not Ajax. Yeah. Ajax probably better actually. But again, he's probably even less likely to play it. Mm -hmm. So we need a we need a fourth for our two v two. Can't use voice chat with Ajax. Voice chat isn't that useful, I think. Honestly, it's uh. Well, for me, it's distracting anyway. How are we going to get a fourth player? Voice chat is the best. I mean, it's alright. It's not necessary, though, to play really well, to be honest. You don't need voice chat to be, like, decently well coordinated, I think. You know, there's certain times where it's going to be a lot better. Like, if you really have to both use your. Well, yeah, I guess if you won't know what you're doing, then voice chat is more optional. Ah, uh, why don't we have a fourth? Thomas, reinstall the game. Come play with me. Save me from being sniped when I made laser with no gun. ACU drop. That's true, you see? So you know what you're doing. That was really nice when I didn't make the gun. When I made laser. That was, uh... <laughs> that was... Fun. Still an easy crush, though. Hmm. Torin is here, our savior. Hope he forgets what I said about him. <laughs> he 
Yeah, they unrank these 2v2s. Bloody Nexus, they love their points too much. And they're afraid of my 1900 rating. They'd lose too much. Okay, now we got actually, this is, as Torn would say, first game of the day. So, what do I do? First engineer to reclaim? Yeah, I don't use Downloader's Client at all. I have tried, but I should build over here. Build. Torin not liking. Oh, I thought he was going to be mad about Aeon, but he's mad about this tryhard spot. Get rid of that. <laughs> I'm easily distracted. Helps me. Oh, why is my ACU moving? Should he be? Oh, it's his ACU. <laughs> Please make me some air. Okay. I can do that. Let's go up to the hydro. Couple labs, maybe? Not just one lab. Like, run up here somewhere. Build, my dude. Ah, oh, there's trees on the fucking hydro. I hate that. That is awful. Uh, and now all my stuff is in the way of building my factory as well. Nice. Be distracted by how. Do you always play with in game music on? It's Torn going to this reclaim. He should not go to that reclaim. He should go to the middle. Also, I should. And now my, and my microphone's also in the way. Okay, let's reclaim right on time. Just try to grab it all. I mean, Oh, there's a tank. Let's build a bomber. Oh, we need a transport actually on this map very quickly. Come on. <laughs> oh, why did he not kill that? I'm sending my engineer here. Tank still alive or is that? Or is it dead? I feel like he's just gonna kill my engineer now.
And he's scared of my transport. This bomber is not very useful. And we're also... Okay, he's in these here. Drop. Ow. My ACU is completely idle. Let's go over here. Can't really... Okay, let's not send our ACU over here actually. We shouldn't do that. That's a. It's dead. Let's not make storages. Doesn't look good, does it? Does not look good.
going on? I think we're just gonna push. What's Nexus doing? No scouting whatsoever. Not the gunships. He's seen them. That's a lot of Swifties, and my air is... Yeah, I don't have enough air at all. Oh, there's Blood Air. But we're gonna get sniped. I think we lost. Yeah, I'm not sure why he went for that ACU. I should have told him to go for the other one. We're just gonna get killed by Mercies now, so... Kinda doesn't matter. So, how did we lose this one? Well, I was never good on this map anyway, so... That's obviously why. So, um, I played Epic? Yeah, no, I don't think so. Not at all. I like Kill Blood here anyway. Look at all the map control I have. It's pretty pretty epic. Oh, he had so many T2Xs. Holy shit. Look at this. Blood Air has T1 Mexes here. And Torn has loads of T1. Hmm. 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 Thought it was no share. Why did he think it was no share though? Can we get to the water? Taking bets now. <laughs> okay, uh hmm. Hmm hmm hmm. Yeah, I played bad there. Quite bad, I think. 
But I really dislike this map, to be honest. Dropping all my engineers here. That was a bad move. And he somehow got a PD up really fast. I couldn't fight this. I didn't know what to do with my ACU. Problem is you can't really move far with your ACU. I mean, look at this, the start, actually. Torn way ahead. I think it's just because he had so much more eco, but... Uh, Yeah, then you see me drop off. I mm, hmm, hmm, hmm. Then we lost air and we had aggressive ACUs, so what can you do? Going for a gun was a bad choice, I'd say. I didn't know what to do at the point where I didn't have my any of my expansion. What? No tips in the chat? Come on guys, we're trying to trying to learn here. No advice whatsoever. Terrible. Now where's the rehost? Really depends on the map though, Keezer. Whether it's a snipe fest. I mean on this map, like it's not necessarily a snipe fest, but we both were forward with our issues, so then yeah. You're gonna snipe. Where's the next host? Here we go. Group form. A full share isn't cancer. You are incorrect. All right, wonder our Sirtis Major open. This one is going to be in the 2v2 tourney, apparently. So it makes sense to host this. Mm, it's not really got anything to do with sentence, Kaiser. 2v2 is just better in full share. Otherwise, it would be a snipe fest, as you said. I mean, you're you're there complaining. Two v two is just snipe fest. It's not even funny. And then you say, we shouldn't play full share. That seems uh, contradictory. Let's go, X up. They're trying to decide what Discord to be on. Well, they just seem to contradict saying that 2v2 is just a snipe fest and then full shares cancer. Why do I have a question mark flag? It's probably because I have IPv6 rather than IPv4. Or I'm from Mystery Island. It's one of the two. Gotta wait a couple minutes for Nexus. 
Oh, I should probably change the title of the uh, stream now, shouldn't I? There we go. Should be changed now. Yeah, the Open Palms tournament is over. Torin won it. He beat Blast Child in the final. And John Ice won the Prince of Palms, beating Finister in, in the final there. Open Palms replay with Voodoo. Who is he up against? Send me the replay if it's epic. My cast it. It's nice to cast the old school players. They play differently. Torrent's still trying to figure out how Discord works. <laughs> you can't type more. Uh I I disabled the the spamming thing. The stop people from spamming. I, I untick that box and it's still telling you not to oh I changed it okay okay try now try now maybe you see I don't have slow mode on so I unticked a block messages I have don't have slow mode on so you should be able to do whatever but you know YouTube it's a limit to what it will allow so you can type more now anyway right or does it still tell you to stop typing Eight nine nine. That's a little while ago. Let's save that replay number. Maybe it's a good one. When's this game gonna start? Stopping you intermittently. Mm, well, nothing I can do about that then. Unfortunately. So we're waiting on Nexus now. Voodoo versus Esperanto. Nice. <laughs> 
<laughs> nice. Sounds like voodoo. Yeah, GPG style. Yeah, sometimes people aren't ready for the old run into the base move. <laughs> yeah, Voodoo knows how to spam T1. Ooh. Did it first in Nub Fried Rice? Oh, <laughs> the real king of old pams. I remember when I was like, he he made a he made a clan, a Cybran clan, that I joined. And he he thought I was a Smurf because I beat him on open pams. Back when I was like pretty low rated, like probably fifteen hundred or less. He was like, but I've beaten Zock. You must be a Smurf. <laughs> I'm like, no. Not Smurf. Let me in your clan. Yeah, apparently GPG was lots of T1 spam, but they didn't play, they played a lot more of 5x5 maps as well. So that's the thing. And well, I guess in GPG you could rush restorers as well and stuff so <laughs> on t1 pigeons so there's a lot of things different but yeah t1 spam that's the roots of the game hmm yeah, five by five is uh, has things going for it. Better players generally don't like five by five because they uh, have more attention, more APM, can manage their a bigger economy better, and can do transitions better. So they prefer have. Larger map, more mass, more more possibilities to uh, do different things, more ways to outplay their opponent. Five by five has its charms. Sounds arrogant. What do you mean? I don't think it's really arrogant. Yeah, 5x5 five five is good. Being good on 5x5 five five is uh, also... I mean, you should start on 5x5, uh, five five, really. Learn to manage your ego like that. Torin thinks his microphone is fine. I know what Torin's microphone is like. Holy shit. Okay, first engineers will go to Hydro. ASU is not going to go to Hydro. I can definitely click faster than most people. That's that's not arrogant, that's just the truth. <laughs> and I never said anything about perfect transition. <laughs> Putting words in my mouth making me seem bad. This 
click. You see, look. Some solid clicking. Okay, so I'm against good players here. I should probably, like, not... Yeah, how do you play this map? Well, we got T2 base in mid. Put move orders. No, you put move orders to avoid um, breaking trees, I guess. This map is disgusting. Look, I can't put a factory anywhere, dude. Now I have no mass. Need more reclaim. Yeah, I guess it would make it a bit faster if I click and then reclaim everything in range and click again, reclaim everything in range, etc. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do other things. Let's, uh, yeah. Do that, I guess. They're expanding much faster. I'm super slow expanding. And he's somehow killed. Oh, he missed my engineer. Nice. That is so lucky. It's just blind luck there. Oh, I should stop reading chat. I'm playing against good players here. Let's not fly over to empty air. Start upgrading mixes. Build more factories. the smoothest building another bomber why I have very few units now Stop building power. Uh, we make start making T two on the commander. Yeah, let's make T two on the commander. This is nobody taking the side reclaim. We're getting to it soon. I think I'm gonna have decent economy soon. Is that his ACU? Is that an engineer? His 
this use here? Upgrading. That's a weird cliff here. It's kind of annoying actually. We're gonna make TMD pretty quick here. Giving up the whole side. Don't really think I'm giving up. The oh yeah. Build our own team out. I'll go to the top, I guess. Oh, we can we can build a factory up here. Oh no, we can't. Amazing. I love that. I love how you can just build anywhere in this one. Or is that can't build anywhere? I can't remember which. Oh, it's definitely can't build anywhere. Scout maybe? Yeah, cool. Let's do that. Lacking Zooies. Oh, can't take that actually. His TML. His TML. And then. Get our PGEN. Should be upgrading, right? It actually is. Okay, we TML to TML. What Torrent's doing, kind of to be honest.
Perfect. Oh, middle. Hello. That's a problem. That is an issue. Why is that happening? Is Torn getting crushed? Well, he's doing a drop. That's okay, I guess. But uh, yes, he's getting crushed. Please. Don't do this to me. It's gonna kill my... I don't need this. What is this doing? <laughs> Gotta keep it going and make more TMD. Big stall. And we're losing the side because we're sending all of our units to the middle. Not ideal. I probably need to make some flax as well just because you have to make flax. You have to. Seiko is too expensive now. But I have to make it. I'm I'm behind. Okay, let's stop making this. I only have five Ilshis here. Jesus! Torrens just... Try to get the side reclaimed. Still, still available. No.
T3 Max for Nexus. I wasted all my air for Torin. Oh, he's dead. What? Uh, how is he dead? How, why is he dead? Now I get his f whole fucking base, but he has what exactly? Let's go T3 here. He has no support factories, it seems. I only have one T2P gen. It's fucking awful. Spam! So much spam. He also has no TMD whatsoever. Oh no, he has, he has two here. That's not that useful, considering. No one reclaimed what? Nexus. And why do I still have no power whatsoever? Let's go here, maybe I can kill. Oh my god, look at this garbage. Yeah, doesn't doesn't really look that good for me. What do you think, guys? T3 land, yeah, obviously. Oh, yes, yeah, okay. Cool. Yeah, we're we're doomed. 
definitely looking doomed. No vision. Minus 3000 powers. God, how long does it take to build a T3P gen, man? Get the feeling this drop isn't gonna work. Don't know why. Just a feeling. Uh, is this a team 1v1? Yeah, pretty much. On a map like this. It's the range here. Just assist and upgrades? No, I don't. I don't have anything like that. I have a hotkey for upgrading. Boom! What a drop! Amazing! Already lost one of the Anthems. Thought I had four there, but I don't. Yeah, kill that T3 air scout. Nice. Blood air could be doing literally anything. Oopsie, actually selected everything there. Not what I wanted. I love that this HQ is like right there. <laughs> what a good spot. Both of them have T3 air now. And I've lost Mexes. I'm not losing these mixes. There's some TML on the side, I guess.
We more engineers. I think we can kill this with these autumns. Or not. They're just both making gunships. I didn't make any Sams. Oh, I didn't make nano yet. Fuck. Let's make the first nano. Lost all our air now. Stop! This is terrible and boring. Under Where are my engineers? They're not assisting. Come on, hurry up. Go, go, go. Don't really care what's going on elsewhere. Like, whatever. Game's over. Killed all my eco. Does anyone know how Torn died? Anyone? Uh, now I have. And he wasn't even close to... Close to Blood Air. Oh, we have no anti air. Nice. <laughs> or shields. We didn't. Where's where's our shields gone? Oh, well, we're stalling anyway. Yeah, we're just gonna die now. Under attack. Oh, another nice game. Yeah, great, epic. Gonna die to Percy's. Nexus was here, but he's not anymore. Yeah, I move back. Let's take a look. Can't really beat Nexus and Blood Air in a 1v2. It's not really gonna happen. I mean, we're all probably already behind anyway, so this makes it doubly impossible.
Hmm. Well, now they're setting solstice, so you might not get more 2v2s. You know how it goes. Yeah, assisting to build storage is uh, not eco manager. It's just uh, in the game in Faf. Will we see another two v two hosted? I mean, there's Yolo and Crispy in a a beta sentence, so. Mm. Nexus T3 Max already, yeah, obviously. <laughs> of course. He loves the, the Mexes. Here, let's watch it let's watch it quickly and see what the what the hell happened. That was my computer, not yours. <clears throat> you told me to nerf T1 RT. Okay. Hi, Novatrix. Oh, I think there's a host. There's another. All right, let's quickly see how far behind I was. Yeah, I think I played decent. Didn't feel like I shot the bed, as they say. Expansion is very slow. Look how much faster his expansion is. And I was lucky his bombers failed. Oh, I'm not in the game. <laughs> okay, we're just going to join the 2v2 now shortly. Bottom of the score. Oh, bottom of the mass by a long way. So yeah, my build was bad. I was actually doing really badly. Can't really blame Torn for dying then. If I'm just behind by a distance. Blood here with so much mass. Oof, I'm, I'm way behind. At least I it's denied Nexus TML, I think. Let's see the reclaim. Oh, blood here, 12k already. 13k. It's pretty impressive. Torin. Wow, he lost. He's taking the mid reclaim, that's nice. The side was rough because of that, though. Hmm. So, pretty even now, but uh, yeah, I'm still, yeah, I'm quite far behind people.
Hmm. Yeah, weak, weak play. Torin doing some crazy drops. Oh, off map. Uh, he got fucked because of it. Tried to go off map. Denied. If transports go off the map or any air unit, they get a move order back onto the map so you can't keep things off map. Uh, yeah, doing well, but Torn has uh, Torn has less eco, but uh, these drops could do something. It's T1 Max here. T2 Max is here though. And then Bloodier ran through middle. Oof. Yeah, nice drops from Turin. Look at that. Okay, I should join this game. There's only two people in it though. Turin's not in it for some reason. Oh my god. Look at all the power he killed. It's pretty nasty. Nice one. Nice one. The side is just a bloodbath. Can't really get past this. And Nexus is, yeah, obviously out. Out echoing me. It's no surprise there. And the side. It's kind of even. He never took this. It's kind of funny. Torn was crushing. I mean that drop was pretty nasty, yeah. But like, it's not that bad, I guess, because you have a teammate, you have a teammate to overflow. Oof, more drops. Two T2 Maxes go down. Nice one. And now Bladir is behind. And we're pretty even. More drops. Just T1 drops. They're not even T2. So what should I do here? What should I be doing? There's the T3 mechs from Nexus before I've even started one. And a lot of Janus. For some reason I thought they were Corsairs, but they're Janus. So obviously it's obviously ZVF. Killing T2 PDs. Making T2. And is this how he dies? Upgrading here? Wow, he's so far forward when he's upgrading. Is this why he dies? T2 cancelled. Under. <laughs> Can't really upgrade under fire from T2 PD. And now the Medusas are hitting. And the T1 spam is coming. He's getting blocked by his units. Yeah. Damn. So close to getting away. Yeah, damn. Yeah, upgrading ACU and range of T2PD. So I definitely messed up here, not uh, taking fast enough or ecoing fast enough versus the Nexus. Yeah, at this point, what can I do? 1v2, I can't do shit. Not good enough. But yeah, he was doing really well until he upgraded in Ranger T2 PD. <laughs> uh, and also, Torn isn't in this game. Why not? Where's Torn? Yeah, a bit of a fail. That map is not that interesting. I don't think. Clothes are open, it doesn't really matter, I guess, but. Oh, we got Mephi. Alright. Cool. 
Now this map is tough as well. I feel like we're gonna have to go to ladder after these games because uh, I'm better on ladder <laughs> than these two v two. So. I'm just weak in team games overall. Wait, Torin's in a sentence. Disgusting. Two v two maps are way too hard. Yeah, they're pretty difficult. But you know, next in Blood Year, love playing these kind of maps anyway because you just you're gonna get to T3 stage, so it suits them. It suits them down to the ground. Yeah, I've played Forgotten Facilities. It's made by Zero. It's the worst one. Nah, I don't think so. Not the worst one. It's okay. It's fine. It's not amazing. I don't like the start. I don't like having two mexes and then not many other mexes. That's that's what I don't like about it really. The rest of it is actually decent. You hate it, so I guess you lose on it then. <laughs> Only two mechs is the best part. Poof. Poof. Wow. That's a terrible thing to say, Thomas. I mean, one minute, the, all the maps are too dissimilar. The other minute, you like having two mechs in the starting base. Flip flopper. That's quite a name, Brian. Quite a name. <laughs> They're not that close. I mean, they're close, but they're not that close. And then the next mixes are, yeah, you know. I mean, you're not going to walk your ACU to get those mixes. Let's put it that way. They're not in the, you know. Why are there 52 maps? Well, there's 30. Yeah, there's early reclaim, but it's completely mandatory to get it, otherwise you're fucked. So, don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. How can you prep for that? Yeah, you can't really. But, um, I 
I mean, there's supposed to be a poll for... There's supposed to be a poll for map pool size. But I don't know what happened to that. Yeah, you see, people have this idea that if you have smaller maps, smaller map pool, then the level will suddenly improve a lot, but it doesn't. But definitely, I could see like 15 map pool would be fine. 20 map pool. If we had like 5 map pool, we had 7 map pool, those were trash. The map with the mexes that appear, you mean uh, Crazy Rush? Yeah, if you die to T1 spam, the game is boring, I guess. Or not. It's totally flat. Yeah, that's crazy rush. Where you build a mechs and then more mechs to spawn. Sorry to tell you, but I put that map in ladder. <laughs> Sorry about that. But yeah, we've had smaller map pools. We had a five map pool. That sucked. It's really annoying playing five maps over and over. It's, uh, we had the seven map pool. That was annoying as well. And people just abuse the map pool. So if you get a nice map pool for you, you can just spam the shit out of ladder and then sit on your rating. Isn't that right, Keezer? <laughs> know anyone who did that <laughs> sorry Brian <laughs> now when are we going to play this map pool is so bad for me you see Yeah, but I mean, it's not the only problem with the map pool, Thomas. Having five or seven maps is boring. Even if you play... Oh, I got a 30-minute game. It was so interesting. Not necessarily, like... Not necessarily interesting games. <laughs> Should they, Kizu? Should they? But yeah, I mean, reducing the map pool to 20 maps, 15 maps, that'd be okay. But I don't want a really small one. That would be... I wouldn't enjoy that. Yeah, rating to K would be good. I, I agree. Well, is the poll even out, Thomas? So I told him how stupid it was to not have a 15 map. He was like, seven, 25 and 15 is basically the same. So and then I was like, that's absolutely retarded. I had to argue with him several t just for 15 minutes to tell him, make him realize. I mean, is there a poll? Like, or what are you guys talking about? I don't think there is a poll. Yeah, well then, what are you saying? How can you say there's no option if the poll isn't even out yet? <laughs> like what? Yeah, there's no option for a poll for 15 maps in the non-existent poll. Like what's what's that about?
Matthew's going for some cheese, by the way. What's my reclaim hockey or because I use it a lot. Let's put a radar there. Oh yeah, you can see it here. Yellow means control plus that key. Ild please, thank you. Uh, yeah, let's build that. And expand. Kind of bad to have my engineers just walking around. Yeah, no, every time you mention raining decay, somebody's like, well, restart. Just restart. Can't read really that. Reset makes no sense. Slamming doors when it's fucking annoying. Up there. Need a transport. RIP, RIP air. Love that. So we need to make air because Mephi is making gum drop. Let's drop the back.
Forgot to build E. Oh, this seems real good. It seems like it's going super well. Nice sending me mass. Lovely! Wahey! Hooray! What can we do here? What can we do? He can't come drop because he has no air and also but you just let my air get raped multiple times um i'm i'm lost now what to do and we got to make more air that's for sure What? How can he get there? That's so garbage. God damn it. So annoying. Ah, I just fucked that up. Didn't take this. They scout so much. So much. Mephi does not look like he's having a good time. Also, I have all the mechs, so I'm going to give him these. Uh, I don't know what to do now. So I'll just rush T3. Try and deny some scouting, maybe.
Blood air suiciding his air for some reason. Like, why is he doing this? Why? Makes no sense. I mean, obviously, suiciding your air makes no sense, but why even send it all into my base? Why? Why you do this? Where is his air? Nice, caught him. Maybe I shouldn't be rushing T3 land. And fucking... T2 Navy. Just a thought. What do you think? Kidding, I don't care what you think. I spam some scouts. There's Nexus is there. Ah oh, no. That was very very poor. Oh, he disconnected and everything. Doesn't he want to help me? No help. Feels bad. T3 land from Bladir. Not. Oh man. Well, great play from Effy there. I really enjoyed his gameplay. Maybe I should use these that are just idle here. We have a T2 factory up here.
Okay. What should we do now? Oh, stand in range of T2PD. Maybe not. Sort of reminds me of a, another game. I might have played sometime. He doesn't even have TMD or any tech whatsoever, or I'm just suiciding Corsairs. Ah, oh, this is awful. It's awful. Um, mix upgrades, haha. <laughs> yeah, we sure have a chance in this game, right, guys? Right, guys? Yeah, sure. Sure, we have a chance. <clears throat> yeah, for sure. Let's get this. Harbury clan. Hooray. Got T3 air. We need more eco though. Ah, building PDs. Maybe we can like snipe over here. Snipe his HQ. That'd be nice. shield oh we're shooting the ground are you kidding I hate this game shooting the ground I'm 
But yeah, doing drops. We could do drops. If we didn't already, um... Like... Get, start upgrading to T3 air. Let's make more entries again. T2 air. Is there a radar around I can upgrade? Should probably make T2 mexes here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is alive. Cool. No, I can't kill this because I haven't scouted it. I can kill this though, pretty sure. Thank you for mass. Oh, that's not good. Okay, now it gets tough. And we didn't kill the T3 HQ somehow. And oh, he has T3 air. I missed that. Okay. I missed T3 air. That's not gonna land. Leave me alone. Yeah, I don't really know what I can do now. They have so much they have so much stuff. So it's just I think I'm fucked. Max has T3 air. He has T3 Max. He has a million gunships.
So I have shitty loyalists who can't do anything. Wasted two bricks here. Let's just kill that again, maybe? I don't know. What the fuck? Yeah, screw it. Effie, you're a noob. I said it. What? Cancer gameplay. Why doesn't he just kill my ACU? Come on, do it right. I killed my transport, killing my... Yeah, we'll play Miffy. Lovely stuff. Literally no T2 Mexes. No T2 land. No T2 air. Literally nothing. I don't know what he expected to be able to build with an ACU when he had nothing. This is pretty tame though. Honestly, though, what the hell was he doing? Nexus had T3 air, one, two, three, T3 max at the end. See, I was actually playing well in that game. Nah, I'm actually not that salty to be honest. I've been a lot saltier. This is it's tame. It's tame. Yeah, it's full share. What the fuck, boom? So you know, I get a base. I get a T1 base, but got a base. He hosts it again on an awful map. But who will my teammate be this time? Well, let's join. I'm going to go get some chocolate, I think. Need a boost. After that game. So you're getting left in a 1v2 versus Bloodier and Nexus in the T3 stage. It's just not. It's not going to work. I was very late to get T3 P gen. And I could have I made something happen, but it's pretty difficult. So. BRB, let's see who, if anyone, if anyone joins, who, who I'll get for teammate. Right, BRB.
Oops, sorry. This map, it expands after like 10 minutes. So you start in this corner here. And then at 10 minutes it expands. The expansion is completely useless, obviously, because you're just going to pretty much... It'll just be over before then. And even if it's not, everything you have is in that corner, so... Whatever. But here's not uh, not a fan of this map. I think maybe Athilus made this map. Famous for EQ. this game won't start who could possibly join <laughs> oh we're going monument valley oh even worse. I don't see anyone who could join this game and be decent. I mean, Jaguar. Jaguar could join. Keezer. Keezer could play. I don't know if he's still watching. Might not be. Maybe Thomas could on retire. He'd be decent. Played 1v1 Monument Valley. Jesus.
Yeah, make caramel popcorn. Definitely have time. Farms is in another game. Apparently Matthew's depressed about FA. Doesn't really make sense to be depressed about FA, does it? <laughs> Stream chess. But I'm awful. Truly awful at chess. Unfortunately. <laughs> How long was your ban? A month? Pretty long ban. You haven't played chess since then. <laughs> so why do you want me to stream chess then? If you have no interest. Also, I don't think anyone has a interest in awful chess. feel like um, nobody's going to join this game. Everyone's playing in the Farms Blackheart game. <laughs> I got banned for a certain name change he made Congreve is probably in that other game as well or just not online looks like he's not online He got banned a little while ago, or wasn't. He's not banned now or anything. <clears throat> yeah, this game is not going to fill 99%. There is Keezer, but he doesn't play. Oh, definitely plastic tier chess because they're completely different games and uh, yeah faf ain't easy if i played as much chess as i played faf then i'd be okay at chess at least save us keezer save us from lobby sim Stop, stop making your cheat mods. Yes, that's an advantage to chess. Yeah, Farms and Blackheart are good at chess. I don't know who else is good, but I'm sure plenty of people probably play. Could be Black Desert Online. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, Keezer, that's what they all say. All the cheaters. Oh, is there a five group on my chess? You can play your RTS. What's your RTS, Brent? Are you talking about the uh, laser girl? Have I played Ashes of Singularity? No, I haven't. So that's seven UI mods, don't you worry about that. Yeah, Laser Girl. I haven't actually played a game of that, to be honest. Sorry. <laughs> I could play it. Could actually play it now. I don't know how it works, though. Exactly. Planetary Annihilation, haven't played that either. I know better than to uh, play it <laughs> a bad subcom, like Planetary Annihilation. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Laser Girl is really just like subcom though, is it now? <laughs> I mean, it looks cool, but uh, I wouldn't say it's just like subcom. What's that, Keezer? Nothing compares to Faf, I guess. I'm not sure licorice sweets. Yeah, I might join that group then. So I do play on Lichess. I try to play. <laughs> play it really badly. <laughs> I think I need to play slower time controls. <clears throat> Cause playing like three minute is a disaster. Ah, uh, no, nah, I don't really want to play chess on stream. Who is, I don't know. <laughs> Somebody challenging you in chess. Is it Thomas? It's probably not Thomas. I don't think he would choose a name like that. China Gap. You looking for a ban? <laughs> not gonna join a Gap. Ow. This is so annoying. This game is never going to fill. So let's quit it. Let's quit the game that's never going to fill. Don't think I can do that on on stream, Thomas. Alright, we're searching ladder now. So, line up. 
I don't know why people like Astro Crater. Well, I guess they don't care what a map looks like, first off. They don't give a shit that it's, like, made in 30 seconds and it's hideous. And they also don't want to really play the game. They would like to narrow it down to as little as possible. So you just have one tiny lane. They want to have time. They want to have time in a real-time strategy. That's what they want. They should just play... Uh, should play a turn-based game. <laughs> instead <laughs> oh what's this last oasis oh it's Montana and oh Shen yeah let's look at that I guess there's no one searching so why not Normal maps with no rush. Yeah. No rush is... Well, I don't know. I never played a game with no rush. Shen, your second least favorite player. Wow. He's quite salty. He likes to complain about balance. Usually has an excuse for losing. Like I, one time I wrecked him with Titans after the T3 rebalance. I killed loads of his T3 stuff with Titans and uh, he wasn't happy. Alright. Bomber instantly caught by Montana. Nice one. Good move. Shen gonna make third air. He's assisting his air factory. Alright. Yeah, good call. Yeah, change scene. Oops. Yeah, so he made a bomber and it got killed here. Here it is. Sinking to the bottom of the ocean. <clears throat> Didn't do anything. Wow, people making multiple air factories immediately on this map. And not going to mid. Shen didn't send anything to mid. There's only an engineer here. ACU hasn't left yet. Another bomber gets killed without doing anything. And there's almost no units, so weird game. Someone's searching, I kinda wanna play a ladder instead of watch this game. So I'm gonna. Finish this chocolate. That's low, nice. So, I think it was Brian McElroy. Hates forgotten facilities. Here we are. Hmm.
fully expect Zlo to make some Labaru. So. No, oh, don't upgrade. So, first thing we're gonna do. Get this reclaim over here. So we only have two mexes. I'll build these two mexes pretty quick. And I guess we'll go for this reclaim. And hmm. <laughs> How do I make a build on this map? Oh, don't leave your ACU idle. Pro tip. <clears throat> oh, that's not what I wanted. This engineer, uh, he's kind of at risk. Gonna delay the hydro, actually. Um, did I, am I getting these? I don't think I am. Fuck, I'm not. Uh, hmm. Yeah, we need to, I want to get up here pretty quick. Is there a reclaim? That's a lot of natural reclaim on this map, so you need to get it. Thanks. <clears throat> you can walk up there, so you should. Somebody pinged me for something. Don't know why. Whatever. Is that it? Shouldn't have cancelled that. Uh, hmm. Damn. I think I messed up. Already? Why am I? Uh, yeah, this is a bad build already. Somehow I let this lab get in. Yeah, this is a bad, bad start. Messed up. The bomber's killing stuff though.
And an idle idler factory. Zilla doesn't seem to be doing that well, to be honest. I'm not sure what's going on. Is there anything up here? Need more. Two max, fuck it. It's quite a lot of factories. Wait, how did I lose all my air? I was sure I was winning that air fight. LT2 land. Oh, let's not, let's not do that. He's cut me off. Well, it's not like you should stay in base that long, it's just how it goes at this... For what happened here, that it was kind of okay. It's not like you have to. Now I'm stalling. And it idle air factory. I've made two air factories and uh under attack. Ah. No. <laughs> That's annoying that he's denying this so well. A lot of going on maybe it's just gonna snipe me
could happen. Maybe he's making a gun. With this air though, it's hard to know. Lost the whole of these mixes. That's that's not good. He's coming for me. Where's my transport? I don't really want to send my air in there now. Oh. Build. Oh, I killed my transport. Shit. Okay. Okay. Yes, T2. Ah, uh, I need to finish T2 really badly. I need. Oh, I didn't finish the. Okay, looks bad now. on range of his PD. Uh. Well, we lost everything. Feels good. Very useful T2P gen. Well, I did some bad stuff, or he did some good stuff, who knows which. 
Everybody knows, but it's over now. No economy. I should have made T2. I could have got the sides. This factory was annoying. <clears throat> oh, it didn't even die at the end. Lovely. Yeah, he just went full T1 with his uh, T2 ACU, and I had T2 land, T2 mix. No good. Punished. Too much greed. I wanted to scout if he had an upgrade and then I didn't look. When I had my scout overhead. Why, Thomas? Uh, a lot of people don't like playing Aeon. Ah, uh, Nev's Lowe's in a team game. That is awful. Jesus, 10 o'clock. <clears throat> How long have I been streaming? Can Aeon fight Seraphim and Tank and already mix in large numbers of T1? Sure. 40, 50 tanks each, yeah. Mm, no, I think I'm going to end the stream now. Hello, John. JP. Well played today. From the loser's bracket. Alright, that's the, that's the stream for today. Hope you enjoyed watching me lose. Repeatedly. And, uh, yeah, see you soon.